You laugh, but there's elevator will make you feel that. Oh, what did you Oh, yeah, did she have to come? Do you Jill really needs personal space, so I have to meet Oh, really? <laughs> when you talk to her next time, just crowd us. Yeah, but, I yeah, but she might honest. misinterpret that. So. <laughs> you can do that, not me. <laughs> you know, he was I'm harassing me. You know, <laughs> well, you, if you went up and go, hi, here you have space, you <laughs> Still harassing me. No, she could not be in this elevator. Really? She could be here by herself? Maybe by herself. She, uh, she would die. She would feel it. I don't think she would live. <laughs> well, maybe she would be so scared that her heart would race and she'd have a heart attack and then she could die from right. that. How you doing? Oh, Thank you. And then? <laughs> and then? Trying to make it interesting at least. <laughs> and then someone it? would find the riding horse when the elevator. The and then? Oh, <laughs> Everyone's been in, most everyone's been in. 
have been in one place at one time. We were the 14th and the 19th floors. <laughs> but the, um, but no, it's been an extraordinary year. I, last year, our, our holiday celebration was right here, and we got it a lot cheaper. <laughs> an idea of how far we've come, or how long we've gone, or whatever. Uh, last year there were something like 40, 43, 44 people. Uh, a year ago we were doing about 24, 23, 25 hours of television a year at that point. We had biography and then we had a few uh, one or two hour specials. And now 12 months later there are more than 100 of you. Uh, we're doing something over 60 hours a year of programming. Um, for, we're, we're doing three series, Famous Families, thanks to Velma and her incredible team of people. Thank you. Thank two people in particular. 
uh, you know, the first one is, you know, I'll, I'll mention both together, but really, uh, Kim Egan, who is not here, who I want to thank in absentia for everything she did with us and with me to help build this unit and to bring it to where it is today, and also for, uh, to Brenda, who... <laughs>
new films, all right? Taking pictures. Lars, what about you? about working at uh, Glen Avenue? It's got to be the ladies. There's so many of them, and they're so fun. Well, how do they compare to the Van Ness ladies? I, I went to Glen Van Ness, Glen Avenue. Who cares? Susie Vaughn, for all I care. They're just fabulous. Hot, hot ladies. And you know, that's why I keep a lot of $1 bills in my pocket, because it impresses the ladies. Yeah. Christmas party uh, compared to us. Can you see me right now? What's that? Can you see me on that thing? Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. Are you really close to me? Yep. There we go. You. The MTV. What was the question? How does this compare to uh, the uh, Band of Park Christmas party? Uh, it sucks. This party compared to the Band of Park Christmas party sucks. A Band of Park, uh, there were some kind people, yeah. for one. Uh, there was better food and, and free drinks. Aside from that, it was, wasn't much different. I think what I enjoy the most is the newlywed game lighting back here behind the curtain. It's got a certain, a certain je ne sais quoi to it. Melissa. Have a great weekend. Before you go, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? I would be the biggest one with the biggest leaves so that people could picnic under them and the, it was a climbing tree and it would get the sunshine on the leaves. That's the kind of tree I would be. Okay. No. So what do you like most about working for Van S. Films? No comment. I'm hungry. I'm eating. <laughs> what do you like about Van Okay. Hey, so what do you guys like best about working for Van S. Films? Kevin Burns. Kevin Burns is a fabulous man. Okay. And what are the uh, big Christmas plans? We are Traveling anywhere? Yes, we're traveling. I'm traveling to Memphis. I'm staying in LA. Okay. And if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? I would be an evergreen. I would be a maple. <laughs> and if you were a moose, if you were a moose, would you be a happy moose or a sad moose? Sad moose. Why would you be a sad moose? I just, I'm, I'm happy already. So if I could choose to be something else, she wants to, to experience that. something that she hasn't already.